So Christian, hello. All right, may I ask you very basic questions about your business because pitching has to do with business. So yeah. what is the name of your company? The name is Vinu. Vinu, Vinu. And what does Vinu do, Christian? Vinu is a uh, ERP platform that connects wine makers and wine traders and uh, yeah. I see. And for folks who are not familiar with things as like, well, SAP and ERP and all of these lovely acronyms, right? Although you do with B2B and Ishanaya runs, well, a community of folks like you, but I don't like to make assumptions. Although I met many folks who are trying to build ERP systems and so forth and otherwise, but let's, let's get basic. So I understand wine somewhat. I understand uh -huh. somebody sells wine, I guess, but what is your software essentially? Break it down for me, please. Uh, sorry, repeat, please. Rephrase in layman's terms without the acronym. Clear? Uh, no, sorry. ERP. Did you say ERP? Yeah. People who don't know what it stands for, what is it? Ah, okay. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Uh, ERP sure. is an enterprise resource planning platform. And what does it mean for the wine business? Why do you need it? Um, an ERP platform um, do the daily stuff uh, like invoices, logistics, orders, and uh, customer relation management. All right, so like a, a CRM almost, right? So invoices, logistics, and managing your clients. And yeah. invoicing, I guess, right? And cool. products. And product. And product management. It does everything that allows you to run a wine business. Did I understand this correctly? Yeah. But what sort of wine businesses? And everybody else who just joined, I am Gleb. I'm yeah. a pitch coach. I like to give examples, all right? Hello, hello, hello. All right, danke schön for attending in this lovely evening. I am going to construct a pitch based on the data that Christian gives me. And right. Christian is being very, very co cooperative and very patient with me. Now, when I ask him a silly question, it's not because I don't understand what the heck he's saying. I am already thinking in advance of how an audience who has never heard of an acronym called ERP would understand what he's saying. So just keep that in mind. Some of this is tedious. I bear with me a little bit. In around eight minutes or so, maybe less, I'm going to pitch as if I'll be Christian, but it's going to be a bit different than what you're just experiencing right now. That pitch is going to take me around two, two and a half minutes. I do this many, 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 many times. Today is my fourth time. Christian, all right. What sort of wine businesses? Are these resellers, producers? Help me out. Or everything in the, in the chain? Everything in the chain. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. Any regional focus? Let's say Georgia, somewhere South Africa, somewhere France related, or everywhere. Everywhere the platform is completely multilingual and internet uh, and international located. How many particular businesses are you helping with your ERP system that's specialized for the wine industry? Um I think up to five, six different business types. Five, six different business types. Did I understand this correctly? Yes. And all of them are wine business types, or yes. wine represents one of the categories. So it's it's specifically for wine, right? Yeah, it's specifically for wine. Could you give me a range of those types? Yeah, it's from the producer to the um, up to a discounter or um, a special trade or, or uh, restaurants. Yeah. I see. So a restaurant who is essentially selling the wine, but yes. they do not produce it. So it's businesses like that. Understood. But all of them have to invoice. All of them have to manage their customers, so to say. Yeah. All of them have to manage the logistics. Did yeah. I get this? Cool. And what's your regional distribution? I understand you're based in Germany, but your clients are all around the world. So help me understand a little bit. Yeah. So what's the region? What's the... I, I'm looking for in France or South Africa. No, currently in the uh, in the German speaking area, yeah. German, and so which you know, anything from Berlin to Munich or or regional? No, I think uh, um, yeah, from from uh, Hamburg to yeah, Wien, Vienna, Vienna. Understood. From Hamburg to Vienna. All right, yeah. all right. Very good, very good, very good. How old is your business, if I may, factually? Five years, four years, three years, one year. <laughs> one years. and a half. One and a half. Understood. What's your background, Christian? Did you work as a wine producer or managed a restaurant before? Or are you nope. from a completely, completely different field? I'm developing websites uh, since my uh, since I was uh, 14 years old. Ooh. And, um, but 
my business education is um, I'm uh, on marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. and um, in 2011, I am uh, employed in a big wine agency. Oh, yeah. what is a wine agency for people not in the know? Um, a wine agency is um, a special marketing agency that is focused on uh, making labels or uh, complete brand concepts for wine. Oh, and how many? Well, it's cost clients, right? So it's it's not an automated product. You would advise them one yeah. by one. So it's yeah. just like a consultancy almost. Yeah. Uh, so wine agency, how many clients did you have since 2011 in the wine business? You personally, help me understand. Wow. Just a rough idea is enough. 100. 100, over 100 different wine businesses. And this one and a half years ago, you started a business of your own solving, addressing a need. Did you see a problem within that period since 2011 that you wanted to address with this business? Yes, <laughs> I see it. What, how would you formulate a problem? Uh, the problem is that they have to do a lot of annoying manual work uh, each day uh, by uh, making um, uh, protocols or reports or only government stuff and they they don't want to do that and that's why it's completely terrible to get the data out from wineries understood and you wanted to streamline the process of helping those businesses but at the same time allowing them to keep track of their data did i understand this correctly yes Okay, this is not for now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna do a partial pitch to save you, well, the pleasure of listening to two gentlemen talk in the evening. So I'm gonna pitch as if I'll be Christian. The name of the company, once again, Christian, once again, pretty pleased with chair and top. What's the name of the company? Vinu. Vinu, 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 one half year. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Hello, my name is Christian. I'm the CEO of Vino. We are an ERP system for wine producers and people who sell wine. Now, for people who are not familiar with ERP, we're software. We're the kind of software that allows those companies to manage the distribution of wine, manage all the little details in a system related to the wine production process. We also allow them to keep track of all the invoices, to send them. In fact, we allow them to run their business, to focus on the product quality and focus on servicing their customers. Now, I, since 2011, I was working for one agency. Now, a wine agency is kind of like a marketing firm for all the wine-related businesses. And during that period, I spent working with over 100 different wine-related businesses. But here's what I figured out. They, especially in Germany, anything from Hamburg, I guess, to, to Berlin, so on to Vienna, well, they have a tough time. They have to deal with government regulation. They have to, well, invoice. They have to produce. They have to resell. Oh, the nitty-gritty of running the realities of this hardcore business. And the margins, well, sometimes it gets really competitive. So I decided to get away from that and instead one and a half years ago, build a company that addresses the pain that I saw. And it allows right now six different types of wine related businesses. Anything from somebody makes wine, basic producer, down to somebody like a restaurant that has a deal with one of the producers or distributors to sell it all around Germany. Now, my ambition is this for a wino, for our P system, to help not just all the businesses wine related in Germany but go beyond that help south african businesses to help american ones in california help the ones in france or australia our ambition is bigger now i know this business not well pretty well since 2011 and i know my software and i'm looking for good leads warm intros more importantly i'm looking to help the little guy sell his wine thank you all right how's that like <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, all right, all right. What, what did I just do, if I may? 